Okay, now let's try our hand at a longer word, word, underworld. Let's try to do this in Descript. This word is quite long, so we'll start by doing the word separately, under and world. First, let's do under in its simplest possible form. U, N, D, E, R. Okay, under. Now this, I'm not a particular fan of this version, so let's see what kind of double letter combinations we can use. First of all, we can turn this into an ER. Um, other than that, we can make this a little more fluid, the connection between those two letters there. So we can go under. Um, there's not a whole lot else we can do. We could try to put the N inside of the U. Remember, the U is a closed space letter, so you're allowed to put the following letters inside of it. However, N and M, I don't particularly like putting inside of letters. It's very difficult to make sure that they don't ever cut them off and make them start looking like other, other shapes. So we'll, st we'll stay away from that for now, but just remember that option is there. Or you could even put the N anywhere else on the, the U you like and then move the D up. But I'll, we'll stick with this version for now, just because I, I think it's the best. Uh, so, now let's look at the word wor world. This one's a lot more fun. So first we've got the W. W is a triple dash. The dashes all have to be about the right same size and spacing, but you can space them out, angle them however you like. It just has to be even. What I mean is, you can add three dashes to this to make it a W. You could put them like this. You could put them like this. You could put them like this. But do not put them like this. Why? because the single and the double dash also represent things. On an O specifically, a single dash represents a Y, and the double dash represents the T. So this is actually, you should see this as two separate letters, T and then a Y. So just be careful when you're doing this one, especially when connecting to a, an O. But it does allow a lot of flexibility. There's also this version of W, so that would be W-O. Uh, but we'll not use that one for this for this particular word, because I like the style using the dashes. I like to draw them a little small, but you'll see why later. So, here's simplest possible combination. As you can see, we've got all our letters. World. Looks kind of nice. Now, the thing is, with world, we're usually dealing with planets, with circles, and so drawing some kind of circular character is nice. We've got the O, which is beautiful. It's wide open, nothing in the middle, and we can fit everything inside. RLD they're a little difficult to fit inside. You just have to make your O a little large. I'll show you what I mean. So here we've got our W. I actually prefer to usually draw the circle first and then add my dashes after. But I just did it this way for this time. So we can put R, L, D all inside it. Now this, this is a very ugly version. Oh, sorry. When you put the D inside of a letter like an E or an O, the, the, the bar has to extend outside. Otherwise, this would be an L. So. Let's try to draw that one looking a little more nicely. Make a better, more straight circle. There we go. Kind of nice. Kind of looks like a sunrise almost. Man standing in front of a sunrise on the horizon. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks a little bit more artistic. Now let's put them together and make our underworld. Underworld. As you can see, it even kind of fits. It almost looks like there's a world under the surface of some kind. This UN kind of curving down gives it kind of a penetrating down motion as well as the R. Maybe even could be made to look like some kind of entrance into the underworld. Again, Descript is very, very abstract creative art.